Hey folks, Russ Evans from the Under the Hood Radio Show here, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the cooling system of a car once it starts overheating and your mechanic has told you that the radiator is all full of garbage. So let me tell you what goes on here. This is a, a Monte Carlo, to the 2000 era. You'll see this 2000 to 2000 four-ish in that area you see this problem a lot so uh, we'll start up here with the intake gaskets intake gaskets are right here between this you got the upper plenum and you got the the lower plenum and the gaskets you'll see them on both sides here if you see coolant leaking right here in this area any drippage there or a lot of oil and you've been losing coolant you notice that every day it goes from the minimum fill mark here starts dropping and you keep adding coolant and then maybe your kids are driving it maybe you're just like i'm busy i don't have time well you find that the radiator gets low and what happens when the coolant gets low on a car that has organic antifreeze technology they call it oat well, let's just call it dex cool it's not necessarily the dex cool coolant's fault that this happens with the new dex cool the old dex cool yes it was junk sorry but that's just the way it is general motors and you know that but the newer decks cool shouldn't have this problem unless it gets low when you get air into this cooling system because of a leak well this organic antifreeze technology we just call it oatmeal technology you'll see this i mean it's plugged it's plugged shut and it's it's almost like a it's a pasty dry crap and you can't flush that out easily. So the only thing you can do to save this car, some shops will just say, we're not even gonna attempt to touch it. Radiator's gotta go. Toss it, get yourself a used one from a self-service you pull it yard or something if you wanna go cheap. You could try a brand new one that's gonna cost a couple hundred bucks or so, maybe a little less on Amazon for the part. You're gonna have to replace that radiator. A lot of small passages, not a lot of flow going on. Then you're gonna to have to try to get all the crap out of the engine that you can. Flush it the best you can. If you're gonna use plain old tap water, you've gotta follow up with a rinse of distilled water. It stuff's about a buck a gallon, sometimes less if you get it on sale at your local grocery store. But you gotta get that out because if you leave the minerals in there from your regular garden hose tap water, it's gonna rust the iron in that engine and make that way worse. So you know get it flushed out the best you can put a new thermostat in some new antifreeze new radiator and hope and pray and cross your fingers twice that it will work and keep you going for a while but once it gets that bad don't let it get that bad it, that's that's not good and if you follow up with another flush in uh six months to a year without putting all the new parts on it can help get it to last a little longer that's what we're going to attempt to do on this car but in the worst case if it's gotten really bad there's there's no fix to it uh, without changing the engine and putting a radiator in it. We've tried all sorts of different cleaners in there and have not had 100% luck with them to clean that up. But some of them work a little bit. There are some off-the-shelf remedies that'll work. But just wanted to show you what that is. If you have leaking intake gaskets still <laughs> and you've, you've fixed the other stuff and done your flushes, it's not going to do a lot of good because... You know, you still got that leak there. You could put some K-Seal in there once you get all this cleaned out. But here's the problem. K-Seal is perfect for sealing a crack. What happens when you try to, let's just say glue, if you wanted to glue a piece of uh, plastic to this radiator cap. If this is a brand new radiator cap, I guarantee you could do it. Can you glue a piece of anything to dirt, to this garbage? You cannot. Don't expect any type of sealer. Even the world's best NASA aerospace sealer is not gonna seal over that crap that's in there. So just thought I'd show you guys this. I know you've been asking about it. That's it. Take care, guys. See you later under the hood.